Okay, so I think that the next thing I'm going to do is go back to my bag and give some consideration to the materials. Uh, what I have is fine, but I'd like to have some texture applied as well, not necessarily uniformly across the entire bag, just in portions. So I'm going to go back to shading, and I already did, but what you can do is um, if I've got this material, the bag material, I can go ahead and I can just select new material and it'll make a copy. So having done that and labeled it, I'm going to make a few changes and see what we get here. Let's just kind of move things around a bit and see where we get. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add... A Veroni texture. Now, this version that I've been doing this project in is uh, in Blender 3.61, something like that. Blender 4 is out and has been out for quite a while, and I do have some projects I'm doing in Blender 4, but just fair notice that some things have changed and not all of the, it, it depends on the version of Blender that you're using. So anyway, uh, for the moment, we're just going to Go ahead and I'm going to grab the distance from the Veroni and I'm going to run it into the roughness. And you can see we've got some splotchiness occurring. Uh, I'm going to take the scale up a bunch because I want these to be fairly small. Something like that. And then the randomness I'm going to take way down. A little bit of randomness maybe, but I want it to be fairly minimal. Uh, okay. So now, with that being the case, I think the next step I'm going to do is, let me just do, um, a quick search for texture coordinate. And we'll put that there and run that to the vector in the Veroni. And then we'll do um, a search for a mapping node. And we'll put that there. And then I think what we can do is, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to affect the rotation on Y so that I can get these little blotches to be maybe diagonal, something like that. Get a little bit of something like that going on. Uh, I'll leave it at that for the moment. Uh, there is some inconsistencies here in how it's applied, just kind of how the mesh is. And you can see uh, that that's happening in other spots as well. But if I decide to deal with that, uh, I can deal with that later. All right, so that being the case, uh, the next thing I want to do is these splotches are all fine, but I actually want some displacement to occur. So... Let's do let's do a shift A and do a search for a dis, um, a displacement node, and I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to run that from here to the material output. Now we're not necessarily going to see any difference, uh, but what I want to do is I want to grab this information and run it through here. So let's do a search for a color ramp. So the color ramp will come in handy uh, as far as applying the displacement. And we'll see what happens in a moment. If I run the color here to the height here, we'll see some craziness happening. But you've got this mapping that's actually happening. So I'm going to move a few things around a little bit. Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually let's slide the ramp back over here. And I think I'm going to use another mapping node. So if I do a shift A and do a search for mapping, put that right in here. And then hopefully by playing around with these numbers a little bit, we can get this a little bit more under control. So I'm going to just take that up a little bit. See what we get. Um, I 
All right, so now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sliders on the color ramp. And I'm going to just bring these together a little bit. And I'm actually going to invert these. So I'm going to have the black become the lighter color. And I'm going to have the lighter color that's on the higher end of the spectrum. I'm going to take that down and make that darker. And then we're going to come back in here and adjust these a little bit more and see what we can get. There we go. That's a little bit more like what I was looking for. Um, a little odd and extreme right now, but but something like that might kind of work. I'll play with these numbers a little bit, and then I think what happens next is I just apply uh, different versions of the same material in different spots. And of course, ooh, that's really shiny. We'll have to mess with that a little bit later too. But basically, something along these lines gets me uh, kind of mimicking these bumps uh, in select spots. And I think I'm probably going to apply this material, not to the entire bag, but maybe to like right up here, like where the handle would be and some things like that. Um, but we'll see where we get uh, on that a little bit later.